we built this new compiler framework called MLR. Yes. MLR is this a whole new framework. It's not many people think it's about machine learning. The ML stands for multi-level because compiler people can't name things very well, I guess. Can we can we dig into what MLIR is? Yeah, so when you look at compilers, compilers have historically been solutions for a given space. So LLVM is a it's really good for dealing with CPUs, let's just say at a high level. You look at um, Java. Java has a JVM. The JVM is very good for garbage collected languages that need dynamic compilation, and it's very optimized for a specific space. And so Hotspot is one of the compilers that gets used in that space, and that compiler is really good at that kind of stuff. Um, usually when you build these domain-specific compilers, you end up building the whole thing from scratch for each domain. Uh, what's a domain? So what, what, what are we, what's, the, uh, what's the scope of a domain? Well, so here I would say, like, if you look at Swift, there's several different parts to the Swift compiler, um, one of which is covered by um, the LLVM part of it. There's also a high-level piece that's specific to Swift, and there's a huge amount of redundancy between those two different infrastructures and a lot of re re-implemented stuff that is similar but different. What does LLVM define? LLVM is effectively an infrastructure so you can mix and match it in different ways. It's built out of libraries. You can use it for different things. But it's really good at CPUs and GPUs. CPUs and like the tip of the iceberg on GPUs. It's not really great at GPUs. Okay. Um, but it turns out- languages that- uh, That then use it use to it. talk to CPUs. Got it. Um, and so it turns out there's a lot of hardware out there that is custom accelerators. So machine learning, for example. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of uh, matrix multiply accelerators and things like this. There, There's a whole world of hardware synthesis so what we're using MLIR to build circuits, <laughs> okay? And so you're compiling for a domain of transistors. And so what MLIR does is it provides a tr tremendous amount of compiler infrastructure that allows you to build these domain-specific compilers in a much faster way and have the result be good. If we're, if we're thinking about the future, now we're talking about like ASICs, like, so anything? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if we project into the future, it's very possible that the number of these kinds of ASICs, very sp specific um, infrastructure thing, the architecture things, uh, like multiplies exponentially. I hope so. Yeah. So that's MLIR. So what MLIR, uh, what MLIR does is it allows you to build these compilers very efficiently. Right now, one of the things that coming back to the LVM thing, and then we'll go to hardware, mm -hmm. is. Um, LLVM is a, is a specific compiler for a specific domain. MLIR is now this very general, very flexible thing that can solve lots of different kinds of problems. So LLVM is a subset of what MLIR does. So MLIR is, I mean, it's an ambitious project then. Yeah, it's a very ambitious project, yeah. And so to make it even more confusing, MLIR has joined the LLVM umbrella project, so it's part of the LLVM family. Right. Um, but where this comes full circle is now folks that work on the LLVM part, the classic part that's 20 years old, um, aren't aware of all the cool new things that have been done in the new, th the new thing that, you know, MLIR was built by me and many other people that knew a lot about LLVM, and so we fixed a lot of the mistakes that lived in LLVM. I mean, so what, now you what, have this community dynamic where it's like, well, there's this new thing, but it's not familiar. Nobody knows it. It feels like it's new, and so let's not trust it. And so it's just really interesting to see the cultural social dynamic that comes out of that. And and you know, I think it's super healthy because we're seeing the ideas percolate, and we're seeing the technology diffusion happen as people get more comfortable with it. They start to understand things in their own terms, and this just gets to the. It takes a while for ideas to propagate, even though um, they may be very different than what people are used to.